So we put a video on TikTok and it had over a million plays in one night. So my dad built a railway around the garden. It's worth coming home just to do this. <laughs> Nothing's easy, is it? <laughs> Get on the fucking bus. I don't know if you saw that, but there's someone checked in that room. But they were playing with the kid, making the kid scream and go, wow. 7 a.m. off to catch a flight. Get on the bus! One of the wonderful things about coming down to visit my mum and dad in their lovely house is my dad always said when we were kids that he would build a railway around our garden. Nearly 40 years old and he's done it. It is amazing. I arrived late last night and before I show you my day out, get to do this. So we put a video on TikTok and it had over a million plays in one night. And then we put more on and they've had millions and millions of views. My dad's railway. So I did a thing on TikTok that said if I got 10,000 followers in one day, I would buy a train for my dad's railway. It's worth coming home just to do this. <laughs> and there is the train now. My dad's following me up the line. Cause everything is always all about you ha. Anyway, I'm getting off at this station because I got to head to London, got to go and do a gig So, I'm here at Burgess Hill Station I flew back from Bulgaria, I've been in Bulgaria for the last two and a half weeks So I'm trying to base myself there more, so that's more home now Got back, flight was delayed by three and a half hours Then got back from Heathrow down to Sussex Mum and Dad got there late last night Now I'm on my way to play with my band at a place called The Crazy Cox Then tomorrow morning I'm off to Oslo And then I've got to fly back Saturday and then fly out to Denmark We'll see what happens along the way I'm so vain. So I've just arrived in London. Playing tonight at Crazy Cox, which is a place called Brasserie and Dell. They've got a, it's an amazing place where you can go and have food. Probably one of the cheapest places in central London where you can eat decent food. Definitely go and try it, it's amazing. To be impossible. One of the worst places to change on the London Underground is at Green Park. If you change from Piccadilly to Jubilee or Piccadilly to Victoria or Victoria to either way like that. Always a nightmare, you always have to walk so far. The key is to head for the way out. Suddenly, you're back. Go for the way out and then you can just come back down. That's my top tip. Top tip for travelling. Doesn't matter what age you are, everyone laughs when it says cock fosters. Don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Joe Webb. Hi. What are you doing? Are we hold hands? You're gonna hold hands now. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Uh, where were you going? You can walk. Oh, I'm gonna find somewhere for a coffee. Okay. We can move it early, aren't we? Okay, yeah, drop the shit off. If someone's you. if someone's filming, it's generally me. Exactly, that's it. Yeah. Yes. Well, here we are. This is what happens when you come down to Zadell. It's quite an amazing place. I'm not telling you, Joe. No, I know. <laughs> nice. They play the music of the Django. They do, exactly. <laughs> they let you put stuff in. Yeah, I mean... 4pm, innit? Yeah, about 40 minutes. That's alright. Here we go. This is where we play tonight. Oh, yeah. This is where we're going to have our meeting. Yeah, we're going to meet probably around here. Just around here? We'll meet you here. Come on, babe! I will go to the end. I will go to the end. I will go to the end. This place is an incredible place, Brasserie Zadel. One of the things that happens with gigs is at the start, oh yeah, we'll pay you this amount of money and you can all have whatever you want off the menu. And after about three months, the money goes down. Then it's like, oh, you can have a starter and a main course. Then it goes down to, you can just have it. So now it's come down to this. Not that I'm complaining, because I couldn't give a fuck about eating. But you know, when the menu's been seriously reduced, you know that someone's gone in and fucked it all up. Heathrow Airport, I've got a 7.25 flight to Oslo. The 
gig was great. All the audience were well up for it. The band was swinging like, oh. going back to Heathrow is a nightmare. Well, it's not really a nightmare, cause, but getting to where the hotels are, and then the cab, and then the cab cancelled, Uber cancelled. Now I'm on a bus. What I need to remember is, if I stay at the Renaissance, the bus stops outside it. great you arrive at half 11 at night and there's a queue to check in suddenly those windows of sleep get shorter and shorter it's like right oh that's okay i can have five and a half hours in the hotel suddenly that's you know 10 minutes gone there 20 minutes waiting for a cab getting the bus you know suddenly this is all leading into that time but the hair looks good over 10 minutes now rain, rain, i'm so vain. This is me eating into the, into the, my little bit of time. I always go in the wrong lift. So confused. I mean, what is this? What is this? See, where are they? Where are the, to your right, but it's not. 3119, just to the right, down here. Like, that is a lift. But it doesn't take you to 3119. Right, I'm going to try this again. Nothing's easy, is it? <laughs> Get on the fucking bus. I hope it is down here, you know. I spent a lot of my life walking down hotel corridors. Here we go, 3119. Well, I don't know if you saw that, but there's someone checked in that room. This is the, this is my, my time to myself. All you want to do is play a bit of clarinet, play some jazz on the clarinet. <laughs> All those hours practicing. See, now I've got to walk back to reception. It's all this shit out. Let's try this one. Ah, there we go. Chocolate headboard. That's the thing, after a gig, you can't just immediately just go, all right, now I'll go to sleep. You know, you've got yourself all wound up. You've been playing, you know, you've been doing doing a gig. I'm going to go and try and get a bit of some sleep before straight to the airport. That I'm ready for. Next stop, Norway. The morning always comes around so quick. You've only got a little bit of time. One of the things I always know is that the reason security takes so long is because people don't think about this shit now. I'm not wearing a belt. I've got no money in my pockets. I've got no change in my pockets. I've got my wallet. That will go into the into the coat. Everything is in the coat. In the front of here is my laptop, not in a case. And then I hate having to take stuff, but I'm not checking anything in today. So that is just there. So in one move, I can go dee -dee 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 -dee, take off my coat and do that. More people need to. Do do that. Know your airports. Mind you, I've got fast tracks, so it's fine. Also, it's been a little while since I've been here actually. About 11.30 in the morning. It's minus seven. <clears throat> there was a, a mother and a father with their kid, who was probably maybe a year old playing with the kid and making the kid scream and go wah, 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 wah. <laughs> whilst they both were wearing noise cancelling headphones not one to moan but got to be a bit of an arsehole to do that haven't you? wind your kid up for everyone else to hear not an early morning flight thank you well i'm up i'm shattered i've just had just had an hour and a half sleep and you know sometimes when you sleep you feel worse than if you just stayed awake. I remember doing this when we used to do early morning flights all the time, arrive and then on the day of the gigs. These days I try to fly in a day before I do the gig and stuff like that. But this one's in and then out again tomorrow so shake it all about. People before me got out at one, thought they were pressed to go to the bottom so I just went up to floor eight. Lift life. Ba -da -da -da. This is like the get on the lift episode isn't it? <sighs> Doesn't matter where you are in the world, someone's coming to pick you up. Every floor now. This is 
stopping at every single floor. I'm not even going to tell you what I was going to say. All right, I'll try. Basically, there's someone to pick you up. You get picked up, you get taken, you go into a dressing room, you have some... I reckon there'll be coffee there in a black pot with a spinning top. Floor three now. Somebody has pressed every button. So someone's taking the piss out of me. And someone's there to pick you up and there'll be coffee in either like a black pot or a red pot or a white pot. Floor one. So keep me funky. Look at this beautiful old building from the 20s. My friend was playing here last night, Charles Limburger. There'll be a get on the bus soon where I'll be with those guys as well. Which is great, Charles an amazing violinist. Awesome. We'll be hanging out with him in France in a couple of months time, so that'd be cool. So here, I'm with the Hot Club uh, of Norway. That's the Hot Club of Norway. I'm Adrian Cox, I'm the guest. Nice lighting, they've done that especially for me. Jazz dog. Yeah. <laughs> so there's another country, so here we are, Oslo, we're all backstage. There you go. Three. We'll be on in about five to ten minutes from now. This is an interesting bit, so they've just gone on stage. I'm obviously not going on on the first tune. Not obviously, I'm just not going on on the first tune. So I'll be on second tune. So, that waiting game. Done the gig. The next band's on. Looking to go back to the hotel now. Vain, 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 vain. I'm so vain. Well, well, vain. Just like that. 7 a.m. To catch a flight. Yeah, it's funny this life, traveling around, people go, don't you get tired of it? Don't you get this? So I'm not doing it, I miss it. It's what keeps me alive. I have to keep myself extremely busy. That's how I manage to stay off drink and stay off drugs and, and stay, you know, motivated. And you just get up and you just keep doing it. There's no point moaning. You know, I might moan if a lift goes past my floor. But I'm not really moaning. I've not really got anything to moan about. Work hard, join myself. Anyway, nice to be back in Oslo. I've got a couple of flights to do today, but I'll tell you about it one day. <laughs>